This is part two of a five-day trip up to Mile Lakes with the Sydney Raid Sailing Group. Day three, we've had a few showers this morning, but it, it's beautiful, it's about eight o'clock. John's heading back because he's got to have family commitments, so he's got to head back. And there's a gentle breeze at the moment. Have a bit of breakfast and then we might head off. Very quiet, beautiful. There we go, a hearty sailing breakfast, baked beans, scrambled egg and a roll. Well, I've just had breakfast and a huge rain squall's come through. It's a bit of a wet morning. Undecided what to do. Some of us think we should uh, go for a sail and, uh, and then it just pours with rain again. There's not much wind. But last night, we did have dingoes, the footprints. I was on the boat, so I didn't actually see them, but they came around the tents and sniffed around, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. Close to the bottom. And this is the travel light boat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's only two of us. Not <laughs> we didn't bring a fridge. <laughs> That's next time. Bruce is dropping his family back to Violet Hill as they've had enough of the rain. And Josh and his daughter are also returning to Sydney. See you, Josh. It'll fine up now. We're leaving. <laughs> So we're off sailing again and Robert has taken control. <laughs> well, you're steering the boat at least. <laughs> and it's very nice, I've got to say. Uh, the I'm, rain... not sure, I'm not sure how many visitors you have on, on board this boat, but I feel Not very, very many, lucky. not very many. Only my daughters, really. Yeah, that's fantastic. The rain's cleared, sort of. There's probably something building over there, but... Um, we're just going for a bit of a sail. It's quite warm, probably about 25 degrees or something. You don't want to get too close up to me, you know that. I've just got a zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you don't want to put your readers off. <laughs> So we've gone one reef. Yesterday I had two, but I've gone one today because there's two of us up, so we should be all right. This is Robert from the other angle. <laughs> Which one's the better? Oh, I think this one's better.
Don't look away as soon as the camera comes on to you. You should know better by now. <laughs> So what have you got there, Bruce? It's a bag bowl. Oh, fantastic. Enough for four people. Oh. <laughs> the rest of the crew abandoned ship. <laughs> we have quite small lizards in Australia. It's about three and a half foot long. For all those overseas viewers, that's an Australian goanna. A traditional lizard. They get to be quite big and they have very sharp claws and if you get bitten by one it's not good because they have a lot of bacteria in their mouths because they eat a lot of uh, dead animals all right Mehdi and it's just looking at me going if I don't move he won't see me ah so it's sunset time beautiful sunset tonight hopefully a few clouds so today is Tuesday I think we came on Sunday I mean time just stops when you're out here it's fantastic we've got a nice really nice sunset today it was pretty windy and it just rained this morning and there's probably rain tomorrow but um, beautiful now Cheers. <laughs> it's a bit lame can we have it a bit what <laughs> gusto gusto's the word yeah one two three Cheers. Well, good morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning now. We had a lot of rain last night. Some of us fared better than others. Um, apparently there was another dingo this morning, but uh, I didn't wake up in time to film it. It's very peaceful now. Okay, so we got water in last night because this tarp collects water here. And my whiskey bag was right under it, which was dripping into it, which had my only dry towel which is now sopping wet <laughs> but <laughs> other than that I stayed reasonably dry just the ends of my sleeping bag got a little bit wet which were hanging down into the water yeah we definitely had a lot of rain so anyway um, if that's the worst of it it's not too bad I think the plan is today to head up uh, towards Kittawake Bay um, which is further up and then hopefully the next day the northeasterly will bring us back that's the plan. I picked up the wood at Violet Hill because we left some extra wood in the firewood in the car. And uh, now we're heading up towards Shelley and beyond that. Uh, it's very, very changeable through this little narrow strait here. So it might take me a while to tap all the way up. It fills up ahead. Hopefully the wind's not too big in the main lake. Is Robert far behind? Yeah, 
while I was in the park, so I have to go back and look for him so I've got some of his stuff. You could tow him if the worst worst can worse. Yeah, so Bruce has gone back to check on Robert because Robert doesn't have an outboard. And coming through those narrows, um, I had to motor because it was just too fluky to get through there. So we're going fine with just the Genara and the Mizzle. I don't really want to put the main up because there's some really strong gusts come through here. So uh, th I think this is okay. Hopefully uh, Robert's okay coming through that passage because the wind's very changeable in there. And he doesn't have an outboard. So there's Bruce and Robert. between 12 and 15 knots, I think. Hi, well, we're all just getting set up for the night here at Cataway Bay, which is just below Narani, at the top of the big lake. Interesting sail today. Pretty strong wind all day. I only had the jib and the Genoa. I'm still powering along at four or five knots, probably. Uh, a few rain showers, but not too bad. And uh, the wind's dropping, which is good, because tomorrow I think it's gonna pick up a bit, but we should just have a run all the way back. It's not a bad spot here. You can see that's Narani around to the right. You can see a whole lot of cruisers there. There's rain squalls coming through. We just had one a minute ago. Robert's setting up in there. We all feel a bit exhausted. We left about nine this morning and got here about five and it was flat out sailing all day. And uh, especially with Robert, he spent most of the day trying to stay upright, which he did, but we all took in a bit of water. But anyway, it's pretty warm. The water's very warm. Yeah. Better now to relax and enjoy the evening. We've just finished dinner and I've uh, come back to the boat and it's now pouring with rain. 
only about eight o'clock, so we're all sitting on our boats under tarps, um, listening to the rain. Tomorrow's going to be very windy, probably 20 knots, but we'll probably leave early and we right, should be running all the way back, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, just hope the rain stays off. Anyway, we've had fun today. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It was a very bumpy night. The wind came up quite strong, a lot stronger than it is now, and we bounced around all night long. And then there were rain squalls. I'm not sure I got too much sleep. Um, but it's daybreak now, so we're okay. I don't know what the time is, probably six or seven. Everyone seems to be getting up. Uh, but yeah, it was a very bumpy night. Very bumpy. Morning, Robert. <laughs> So I think I'm going to have um, baked beans and scrambled egg on toast. I've got to use the eggs up. So this is the poo barge, the independents. They basically come round and if you need a pump out, they will pump you out. It's supplied by the parks. I suppose they have to offer that because you obviously can't put anything in the lake. So that's service for you. There we go, scrambled egg on toast. Couldn't be bothered to make the baked beans, so uh, it's not too bad though. Well, Rob has taken off. It took uh, three of us to hold his boat while he hopped in, and then he, he launched like a rocket and just took off. Pretty strong out there. Just getting ready to leave. It's pretty windy. got to get around this headland because there's a, a rock with a marker on the end of it about 50 meters off the point and once we get around that we should be able to run a bit better or reach down they reckon it's only going to take 30 minutes to get back to Shelley which is pretty fast so we'll see I did predict 20 knots, I don't know if it is 20 knots, but it's, um, I don't want it any stronger. You've got to remember this is a lake, it's a pretty big lake, but it's a lake. So the waves aren't that big, but uh, the wind covers a lot of distance and then picks up. That's Bibby Harbour over there, which apparently is very shallow. I would say we're probably doing about five or six knots easy running down here. It's not too bad actually. This is what they mean when they say coming home with a wet sail.
pretty hard to see where we're going to go, to be honest. Glad the rain stopped. It's not that cold, but uh, I am wet. Here comes Robert. I think he might have got a bit lost because he started up before us and now he's miles behind us. Much nicer when the sun's out. I've never been that fast. <laughs> You've definitely never been that fast. <laughs> oh, it was good. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, it was very good. In one place. <laughs> so how long do you reckon it, it took to get right from the top down? An hour? An hour? Yeah, it wasn't that long. It's only 11.30 now. We're at um, Delhi at about 10.30. Because I saw you and I thought, well, is he going to put him to Shelley? Oh, then the yeah, rain, the rain came. Yeah. Oh, no. nah. That's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it was warm, so it didn't yeah. really matter too much. He's puffing, he's puffing. That's very nifty. <laughs> 